Alrighty guys, so for those of you that don't know, we got to visit the park um, a week early due to some private events that we were invited to. So I'm super excited about that. Grace's interview will be out shortly. I, we am, I am rendering a really powerful video. So it's taking about an hour and a half to get those clips rendered. Um, I guess that's the problem with filming on a really professional camera versus clips like this that are filmed on an iPhone. Um, with that being said, there are signs that have grown um, about the 2025 project. So for those of you that have been keeping track on this channel, I have been covering these things called distance markings. Um, they pop up in areas where they need to check uh, distance from usually rides or buildings or um, upgrades. But for those of you that um, followed along, this is how we were able to predict the 2023 editions pretty accurately. We knew that there was going to be a coaster going in Planet Snoopy, and we knew that there was going to be a flat ride going exactly where it is located, where Tundra Twister is located. And it's because of these little markings right here. Um, thanks to my connections in the con uh, construction industry, I've learned a lot. So with these distance markings, these two that I'm showing right now, the one that I just showed, and this one right here, they have been here since last season, but there are new ones popping up, and they are, now they span almost in a straight line from all the way down there, where that orange marking is, is around where they start, and then they span all the way over to the Maple Tree House, um, and the support columns on the uh, treetop trekkers, or whatever it's called, uh, like right there. Um, so what this is potentially signaling is a, a very large coaster project, um, much larger than we thought. Now, the only thing we have to be super careful of is that we know that Frontier Canada is going to be a multi-year project. Um, it's still got 2024 left in it, and then 2025. And it could have more outside of that, but I think it's 2025 is going to close it off. So with these distance markings, they could be for flat rides that... Um, end up going in that action theater plot of land there. And then some of these distance markings would make sense. However, the one really far on the treetop trekkers um, support column wouldn't make sense for the flat rides and where they're located. But who knows? With such a large expansion coming in the 2024-2025 years, it's really difficult to predict. So, you know, we could get an aeronautica style expansion in 2024 and then you know it fills in these little like dead areas in frontier canada and then the the coaster in 2025 so we have to really figure out what these distance markings mean and which ones are for 2025 and which ones are for 2024 because if we are getting a flat ride some of these distance markings could be for 2024 i will tell you now though with how far spread out they are they can't all be for 2024 there are some of these are definitely multi-projects or one big project. Again, if we aren't getting a swinging ride or a ride that requires a, a radius of clearance, these distance markings wouldn't necessarily make that much sense. So we're looking for rides when it comes to these distance markings. I want to show you in red the area that currently has new markings. So the red is new markings and the yellow is old markings. Um, the yellow circled up by the far left side or right side near Silver Streak of Action Theater is a lot of electrical equipment. So we're talking spoodles of electrical wiring that have been sitting there for about it, almost a year now, about eight months they've been sitting there. So we're keeping an eye on that because, again, a lot of electrical work is going to be needed, infrastructure. You might hear that in Grace's um, interview uh, on our channel that should be posted shortly. Um, the park is going to continue to work on infrastructure, but just keep in mind that the yellow is old um, construction markings that have been there since the middle of last season, and the red is new ones as of this season. There's a lot of markings on trees in the Whitewater Canyon side of that forest there. 
Uh, and then there's distance markings. Again, we won't know. We There might be a ton of more evidence out there that we won't know until Tundra Twister opens because we're not allowed down that pathway that leads towards Splashworks where we saw a lot of these markings zooming in on our camera. So again, we, we are definitely going to have to pay very close attention once they open that path. So I just thought this was really important information when discussing 2024 and 2025, and I wanted to share it with you guys. So hopefully this helps. We're going to keep a really close eye. Um, I will say the team and I, we are very much sold on the style of markings. And if we were to assume, so take this with a grain of salt, we are making a massive assumption here. And you know what happens when you make an assumption? It makes an ass out of you and me. <laughs> but um, we, we, we think that this is pointing towards a launch. Um, there were signs of electrical work. So we think that they're getting ready for a very powerful launch coaster in this area. And I hope that ends up being true. But who knows? We won't know until 2024 when there are much better and stronger signs for the 2025 project. Right now, all we're going to see is markings in the 2023 season. We're not going to see anything significant. So we'll have to see. Anyways, thanks for watching today's update. Stay tuned for our next video. Have a good one. Bye.